so this is an interesting story because um, it turns out that Ryan Lizza, who's a, a reporter for the New York Post, uh, I'm sorry, the New Yorker, uh, recently got a call from Anthony Scaramucci. Well, Anthony Scaramucci is, of course, uh, Donald Trump's uh, new communications director, taking over for Mike Dubke, uh, and is actually the reason that we no longer have uh, Sean Spicer. Now, in this call, which is amazing, um, Lizza decided to write this whole thing down. He decided to publish the contents, uh, which, of course, Scaramucci is not exactly happy about because in it, he says some pretty crazy things. Now, uh, so I, I want to get into this. Um, now, Liz Lizza writes, on Wednesday night, I received a phone call from Anthony Scaramucci, the new White House communications director. He wasn't happy. Earlier in the night, I tweeted, citing a senior White House official, that Scaramucci was having dinner at the White House with President Trump, the First Lady, Sean Hannity, and the former Fox News executive, Bill Shine. So you've got a little bit of uh, Fox News representation here. Okay, you got former Fox News guy Bill Shine uh, was fired, but also current Fox News guy Sean Hannity. Hmm, very interesting. Now, again, very interesting group of people. Uh, now, Scaramucci, I don't think he was upset that people were going to find out about it because they were going to find out about it. The meeting would eventually go public, but he was mad is that it was leaked. Now, he reportedly asked Lizza, who leaked that to you? Lizza said, I cannot give you that information. And he responded by saying, okay, well, look, if you're not going to tell me who gave you that information, well, then I'm just going to fire everybody in the communications department. How about that? How about that? <laughs> Cash me outside. <laughs> or not. Um, hey, man, if that's what you want to do, Go ahead. I guess you can do whatever you want. You, you fire whoever you want. But one of the rules of journalism that Ryan Lizza respects is never reveal your sources. Don't reveal confidential sources. So he's not going to do that. And of course, Scaramucci gets increasingly agitated about this. And he actually tried to uh, you know, press him to reveal a source while also complaining about his staff. Remember, he inherited the staff. He didn't pick anybody. Um, this was Mike Dubke's and Sean Spicer's staff, which were more establishment picks. They were put there by Rens Priebus. Scaramucci don't like Rens Priebus, and he didn't like anybody connected to Rens Priebus. And in fact, he said, I asked these guys not to leak anything, and they can't help themselves. You're an American citizen. This is a major catastrophe for the American country. So I'm asking you as an American patriot, to give me a sense of who leaked it. Now, wait a minute here. Now, again, he's not so mad about what was actually leaked, just the fact that it's actually been leaked. Nobody cares who have who the president had dinner with. Oh God, you got you had uh, you had Sean Hannity and Bill Shine. You had dinner with them. Ooh, nobody cares, but he cares. It's not a catastrophe to America that somebody leaked that. I mean, look, maybe you could argue from a left perspective, like, oh, yeah, but he's getting uh, talking points from Sean Hannity. Okay, hey, that's fair. I would consider that a disaster. But Anthony Scaramucci would definitely not because he's on the same side. So, and look, there is nothing classified in this supposed leak or even embarrassing. Uh, and again, it was going to become public knowledge anyway. Who cares? But see, Scaramucci, I think he's paranoid. According to Lu uh, Lizza, in Scaramucci's view, the fact that the word of the dinner had reached a reporter was evidence that his rivals in the West Wing, particularly Rens Priebus, the White House chief of staff, were plotting against him. So he is fucking paranoid. And look, when I read this originally, I was like, uh, no, man, come on. Really? Is that what he believes? But now, maybe it's possible. I, again, look, I don't see the harm in leaking this particular dinner, but maybe, I, maybe I'm missing something here. So let's read on. Now, there is a feud uh, that's well known uh, between Rance Priebus and Anthony Scaramucci. And that's actually far more interesting. Now, we know that Priebus had blocked him from several different administration positions before. 
And when Trump was like, no, he's going to be my communications guy. I want Anthony Scaramucci. Rince Priebus and Sean Spicer were like, no, don't. And in fact, Sean Spicer, he's like, if you appoint Scaramucci, gone, gone. I'm out of here. And that's exactly what happened. Now, Spicer, again, he was a previous appointee, so, okay, he's gone. So there seems to be a little bit of bad blood. But it also does go a little bit further. As it turns out, when Trump appointed Scaramucci, he said, you're not going to report to Rince Priebus, the chief of staff, or to Steve Bannon. You're going to report directly to me. Oh. Now, if you're Rince Priebus, or if you're uh, Steve Bannon, you're like, oh, that's not good. You're basically giving him authority to report He's supposed to directly report to us. Instead, you're going over our heads. So now this is a power play. Okay, this is becoming a definite power play. Priebus, and in this situation, Priebus is getting railroaded. Okay, now an example of him being railroaded is Michael Short. Now Short was a White House press aide. He was close to Priebus. Uh, and, oh, look at that, he got pushed out. He, was, he resigned on Tuesday after Scaramucci sp publicly spoke about firing him. Hmm, interesting. So again, they're trying to get rid of, or at least he's trying to get rid of Rince Priebus. And then, oh look, here's several damaging stories about Scaramucci somehow ended up in the media. Well, of course that's going to make Scaramucci like a little paranoid. Like, oh, wait a minute. Where'd that come from? Now we've got these leaks. We've got my financial records. That got leaked out. Gee, I wonder who the leaker is. Could it be the guy that I'm openly warring with? Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> now, back to the call here. Now, um, Scaramucci told Lizza that uh, at the communications department, he's like, I'm going to fire them all. He said, I fired a guy the other day. I have three or four people. I'm going to fire tomorrow. I'm going to get rid of people. And I'm get to the person who leaked that to you. Rents Priebus. If you want to leak something, he'll be asked to resign very shortly. He's coming after him, man. Now, why would Priebus leak something as ridiculous as this meeting? Again, seems kind of weird, right? Now, financial disclosures, those are also public. So I don't understand why he would leak that either. But okay, whatever. Now, the issue, he says, is that he believes that Priebus had been worried about the dinner because he hadn't been invited. Again, okay, kind of weird, but if you're getting, if you feel like you're getting sidelined, if you feel like you're getting railroaded, I guess you'd be like, I'm a little upset. He's not, he's meeting with Scaramucci, but he's not meeting with me. That's weird. Okay. Now he says that, and then he goes on to give an amazing quote. And I love this. And this, again, this is Scaramucci, somebody who's seems like he's very paranoid saying this. Reince is a fucking paranoid schizophrenic, a paranoiac. He channeled Priebus as, he's, he's, as he spoke. Oh, Bill Shine is coming in. Let me leak the fucking thing and see if I can cock block these people the way I cock block Scaramucci for six months. That's an awesome quote. <laughs> you can tell there's some anger there, right? You know, there's more. Scaramucci was particularly incensed by a political report about his financial disclosure form, which he viewed as an illegal act of retaliation by Priebus. The reporter said Thursday morning that the document was public, publicly available and she had obtained it from the Export-Import Bank. Scaramucci didn't know this at the time and he insisted to me that Priebus had leaked the document and that the act was a felony. Again, you want to talk about paranoia. Somebody's paranoid here and I don't necessarily think that it's Rince Priebus. More fun quotes. Quote, the swamp will not defeat him. Scaramucci said, breaking into the third person. They're trying to resist me, but it's not going to work. I've done anything wrong with my financial disclosures, so they're going to have to go fuck themselves. <laughs> now, if that's not fun enough, now he goes after Steve Bannon. And you'll love this quote. From the article, Lizza writes that Scaramucci told him, unlike other senior officials, he had no interest in media attention. Quote, I'm not Steve Bannon. I'm not trying to suck my own cock. <laughs> No, there's more. 
I'm not trying to build my own brand off the fucking strength of the president. I'm here to serve the country. Don't get that image in your head. You will never get it out. I'm just saying. That is awesome. <laughs> the war is here, man. And it's ugly. There's more. He reiterated that Priebus would resign soon. And he noted that he told Trump that he expected Priebus to launch a campaign against him. He didn't get the hint that I was reporting directly to the president. He said, and I said to the president, here are the four or five things that he will do to me. And his list of allegations included leaking the Hannity dinner and details from his financial disclosure form. So that's what this is based off of. He thinks Priebus leaked this stuff because he came up with the idea of this is a thing. This is, these are the things that I think Priebus will leak despite no, uh, no information. Again, paranoia. As for the leakers, he's got more. And this is another interesting quote. What I want to do is I want to fucking kill all the leakers and I want to get the president's agenda back on track so we can succeed for the American people. He also says, quote, okay, the mooch showed up a week ago. This is going to get cleaned up very shortly, okay? Because I nailed these guys. I've got digital fingerprints on everything they've done to the FBI and the fucking Department of Justice. <laughs> Do you, though? Okay, man. Now, look, keep in mind that this was on Wednesday night. And then after that call, he sent out a tweet that accused Priebus of being the leaker. And then, oops, he deleted it. And then later called into CNN that night during a call with Ryan Lizza to tell everybody that, no, no, you know, I actually wasn't accusing Priebus of being the leaker. It turns out I was wrong. But, but there are two fish here that don't stink. And that's me and Trump. So if, hey, if Priebus, if Prince wants to explain that he's not a leaker, let him do that. <laughs> Look, man, this is a crazy situation. I don't know who's leaking what. If it's Priebus, okay, or a staffer, or even the president himself. I mean, look, Donald Trump, he's not a smart person. So is it outside of the realm of possibility that he would also leak stuff? No, it's not, it's not outside the realm of possibility, but, but we don't know, okay? He has been known to leak things in order to get attention, though. But look, it's pretty clear from all the infighting that the White House is more unstable now than it has been. Now, somebody's going to get fired fairly soon. I don't know who. I don't know when. But I think it's going to be happening soon. I think there's going to be a big shakeup, and I can almost guarantee that. Because, look, the drama right now in the White House, all these people, this competitive atmosphere, it leads to a cutthroat environment. There are a lot of people that don't survive in cutthroat environments. So, and Scaramucci seems perfectly uh, suited to that kind of environment. While Ron Priebus is not. <laughs> okay. So, what I'm saying is that when you have a White House with that kind of atmosphere in it, you're not going to get anything done. This is not a business, okay, where internal competition sometimes helps make it more efficient. No, this, this is government. This is where you're actually supposed to work together to get the will of the people done. That's not happening in this case. What is the White House actually doing? Nothing. The whole situation is completely unsustainable. This is not a well-oiled machine. It's a big, giant disaster, and it's absolutely sad. It cannot continue to function like this, uh, and something somewhere is going to break this is not a good management style for a political office um and again something definitely needs to change hey everybody thanks for watching this video if you want to see more like this please hit the subscribe button below and if you want to support truly independent progressive media please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash tyt nation